everybody and welcome to another exciting installment of Five Postures with a Wrestling Rampage. The three amigos are back at this bitch. The amigos. <laughs> yeah, I got, got tongue tied. Uh, uh, I'm pretty yeah. sure that's the first time. Yeah, yeah, I'm pretty sure. I think Ken did a great job. <laughs> uh, <laughs> guys, we're back with this. What do you think of Sweet Gums? <laughs> sweet Gums. Take it easy, Ken. Who ate another fancy cake? Uh, sure did. Take yeah. it easy, Ken Raper. We're gonna we're, 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 we're gonna we're gonna do this. Why do you thing? always say that? Stop <laughs> saying dumb shit. <laughs> Wouldn't you like to know? Yeah, fuck you. Anyway, I I'm pretty I sure they would like to know. We're all jobbing, okay? I'm guys, pretty, pretty sure they would like to know. Got, and guys, we'll get into that sometime or another. I guarantee you. <laughs> guys, we're back with this with this quarantine edition of Five Questions with Wrestling Rampage. Isn't it right? Yeah. We're quarantined in the house. Yeah. Which, uh, honestly, quarantine ain't that bad because we were quarantined to begin well, with. Well, I'll be honest. I do we were, was, <laughs> we were, I ain't, ain't going to lie. We're more of homebodies anyway. So I, I ain't going to lie to a degree. I do miss getting out a little bit. Mm -hmm. Going to stores. Mm -hmm. You know, Goodwills. Mm -hmm. And stuff like that. Because that's what we usually would get out for. Mm -hmm. And and that sucks that we can't do that. But I'd rather have my health than fucking go go for two ninety nine video games. Yeah, we were quarantined. We quarantine eight. Yeah, one ninety nine. <laughs> but anyway, guys, uh, we're back with this edition. I hope that you guys are staying safe. Yeah, stay safe during uh, these tough times. These tough times during this global pandemic. Yeah, and, uh, and don't listen to the guy with the fake hair and the and the spaghetti face. <laughs> anyway, let's go ahead and get started with this edition of five questions. All five questions are asked by a good friend of ours. Mark Boy 316. Oh, Mark Boy. And Mark Boy 316's channel. His channel will be in the description box below. All you gotta do is click on his link. Tell him WR. Yeah, tell him WR. Is that right? WR. Oh, yeah, yeah. Good, right. uh, good friend of ours, Mark Boy 316. He has five questions for us. Let's go ahead and get started with the with the first one. Let's here. get started. You ready? Let's yeah, get yeah. to it. Well, let's get, get to it. Let's get there, Ken. You know, you know, Tommy really is a good person. But anyway, uh, <laughs> we'll do some funny commentary for just bring it. Um, yeah. What, 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 you missed the thing, don't you? What wrestling promotions did you get on TV and watch? What promotions did we get on TV and watch? Of course, uh, now, of course, we're not watching anything now, of course. Uh, well, well, there's a reason for that. Yeah, well, there's a reason for that. Global pandemic, that's the reason <laughs> for it. And, uh, but, uh, if you're talking about back in the day. I remember we would watch on, a, remember, I remember we didn't have cable, it was all fuzzy. Yeah. Uh, yeah. WCW Worldwide. We said we were all it was on fucking local station and we'd be all fuzzy. And you had to use the fucking antenna. <laughs> yeah, we grew up in the 90s. And the you know. same thing with Smackdown. You had to use the goddamn antenna. The only one that we weren't really able to watch was locally Raw. was Raw. Now, when we went over to our grandmother's house, she had cable and we'd watch Raw there. Yeah. Um, until we got cable. Yeah. You know, back in the day. That's why they wanted to go over there. And they and, love uh, their, uh, and, and they love their grandmother too. So. Uh, we love grandma. And when we had no lo and, and we'll watch OVW. Yeah, um, uh, Cause that was on a local station. You know, uh, yeah. uh, 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 SmackDown was on. Uh, you know, you know one of the one of the uh, uh, syndicated yeah. programs. Um, you know, and then we got certain certain WCW ones as well. Yeah, worldwide. Um, yeah, that's about it. Worldwide. Worldwide, I think, was the only one that we did get when we were uh, kids. When we had no cable. Uh, now, you know, uh, uh, eventually we would get, like, uh, cable. Then we'll oh, and we'll get metal. Yeah. Oh, yeah, metal, yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll yeah. get that, too. Dee Dee. 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 And then we also got, uh, you know, we did get OVW, because OVW used to come on, a, on an affiliate local yeah. station. And uh, back in the further days, in the early 90s, in mid-90s, we also got USWA. Yeah. Uh, which is, uh, you know, the Memphis Territory. Yep. Um, we used to get that as well. And, uh, you know, we would go to some of the shows as well. Yeah. we go to, like, USWA shows. We went yes, to we OVW shows. Didn't go to a lot of uh, uh, WWE shows, no, because you know that they, they are overpriced yeah. and and uh, just never really went. Yeah. Um, Wanted to go though. 
wanted to go, and, and when we did go, it was kind of disappointing. Well, that's when we went in the later years. <laughs> I wish yeah. we would have went in 02 or 01. Uh, yeah, yeah, it would have been nice if we didn't. Uh, and then uh, 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 WCW, we didn't, go, we didn't go to any, and ECW, we didn't go to any either. But um, we'd watch a lot of USWA, a lot of OVW, and we watch a lot of the syndicated WWF and WCW programming. Yeah. So, Pops, what did you watch growing up? Uh, Memphis Wrestling on Channel Three, uh, and then and before before all that right there, we had uh, it come out. It was all all star championship wrestling, which come out come out of come out of the uh, uh, India Indianapolis, Indiana, and then, this right here was this right here the first this right here was about when Dick the Bruiser, Crusher, and all, and all them guys was wrestling back in the day, including Bobo Brazil, which I love Bobo Brazil. Uh, and and Moose Cholock, I know you guys don't know his, but but he was a good wrestler back in the day. I heard of him. Wilbur Snyder, uh, Pepper Gomez, all them guys wrestled on that station back then, back in that back there day. And at that right there time, I, I, a kid, I, I was a fucking wrestling fan anyway, so I loved watching that right there. I, I remember, I, and also uh, the uh, uh, handsome Jimmy Valiant and John and Johnny Valiant, well, supposed to be brothers, uh, but was, was back in that right there day. And uh, the Valiant brothers took on Dick the Bruiser and Crusher to steal cage match, and and that right there was that right there night that everybody got bloody, Fantastic. and and it was he was just it was just as as as, as the guy announces it it's a bloodbath. Twelve minutes of grueling action, <laughs> but uh, let's go ahead and go with the next question: Who in OVW did you want to go uh, to WWE but never went? Uh, one that 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 you liked in OVW and just never went. Mm -hmm. Seth Skyfire. Fantastic. Yes. 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 One of the guys that I really enjoyed was Seth Skyfire as well. And, uh, and he didn't go to the WWE. And, and of course, I know I know some of the reasons why he didn't go to the WWE. He was pretty small. Well, uh, so was Evan Bourne too, but he got the job. Well, well, I'm, well, I mean that was later on. Well, yeah, but still. Uh, uh, go back and watch some of Seth Skyfire's and, matches uh, in OVW. And another one. Smooth Johnny Spade. Smooth Johnny Spade. Yeah, I'm, a, I'm a future WWF champion, Jimmy. And you lost me. You lost me. Yep. <laughs> uh, anybody else? That's about it for me. That's about it for you. Pops, is, is there a wrestler that has never went to WWE that, that, that you enjoyed WWE? Uh, I, I know a wrestler that went to WWE, but I'm sorry he did go. Well, we ain't talk about that. Yeah. Uh, I'm We're talking about one that never went. Well, the one that never, the ones that never went, they feel lucky. Actually, that is true. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that is true, by the way. Yeah. Um, you know, a lot of the guys that they did sign that I really liked uh, did eventually go on to the WWE. Um, you know, it was Seth, a sad time for that moment. Uh, Seth Skyfire was one of the guys that they, that they never picked up. Johnny Spade was another guy that they never picked up. Um, I'm trying to think here, it's pretty tough. It is because they did pick up a lot of the guys there. Um, yeah. And then most of them that they took, they always oh I know well no they did take him but they didn't have him for very long. I was thinking about Brett Albright but they did take him. As, yep. That's yeah. Gunner Scott. That's Gunner Scott. They did take a lot of the good guys and just made them shit. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> in WWE. Um, but yeah, Tommy you nailed it on the head with them two. Yeah. Because uh, th those are two that never went that I thought uh, could have could have went at least. Yeah. Um, could they have got over? Probably not. Well, we know <laughs> with the, all the track record yeah, that they yeah, had. Yeah, we know the track record about them. I know them all. a woman. Is that Taylor Hendricks? Taylor Hendricks. Yeah. But she was in Impact, but that's Impact. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Nikita. Yep. Nikita as well. Uh, pop, pop, pops, pop, pops like Nikita. Yeah, I did. <laughs> but I'd like to give him Nikita. Um. Another another person that I would I now 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 of course you know he passed away before. He was, because they got the deal to go to OVW, yeah. but he died before uh, they actually went, and that was uh, Russ Haas with yeah. Charlie Haas. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I've seen some dark matches with the Haas brothers, and I thought they were fantastic. And another one I thought 
could have done something, but he didn't, was Matt Capitelli. Because he was getting real better in OVW. Oh, yeah, yeah. He got way better than what he was before. Well, that's also one that, 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 uh, of course he did win the Tough Enough 3. Yeah. But he, uh, he, he, you could tell he was learning. He was learning, he was on his way, and of course, tragic brain tumor yeah. derailed his career. Yeah. Um, and actually, I think it was last year he passed away, Yeah, and, and the cool thing is, he was still, he was still training people, and mm -hmm. he was still working with wrestling. He was still working here in Louisville, so. In OVW, yeah. Yeah. He was, he, he, uh, he. He was he, a trainer. He was a trainer for OVW until he passed away, so. Yeah. Um... You know, the, the, those are some of the ones that come to mind most yeah. definitely. Because cause a lot of them did go, and they just abused them. Mm -hmm. and, and, which yeah, is sad. Yeah, badly. Um, I'm going to be honest, some of them deserved it. Like who? Snitsky. <laughs> Chris Masters. Mm -hmm. I can't believe who's getting a main event push in fucking 05, for God's sake. Well, you didn't want, uh, what you think about Mike Cruel? Did you want Mike Cruel to go oh, with fuck that. He wasn't going to go with <laughs> 2008 was the dying days. The dying days. We had Kozlov, for God's sake. That means you yeah. are bad. We, we we did. We we actually seen v Vladimir Kozlov. And he, just, and he sucked then like he sucks now. We actually seen him live and he, and he, and he, and he sucked then too. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we're, we're in the same shitty white tights. Yep. <laughs> um, well, let's go ahead and go with the next uh, question. Uh, what is your favorite championship title of any company and why? Favorite championship title? Tommy, I already know. What? The AEW World Heavyweight Championship. Hell no. <laughs> Fuck that title. <laughs> Fuck that title. Fuck anything with those disheartening letters. <laughs> what about the TNT Championship? Sucks too. <laughs> we know trash when we see it. <laughs> we know trash. You know, you know the slogan for TNT says, we know drama, they changed it. It's we know trash. We know trash. <laughs> Alright, uh, uh, what's your favorite championship and why? Favorite championship and why? Mm -hmm. The NWA World Heavyweight Championship. Why is Sweet Charlotte, the 10 pounds of gold, your favorite? Because it's treated with respect. Treated with respect. Look at Nick Aldis, who who looks like a real champion, for God's sake. No. The natural treasure. Well, it's Aldis. true. He looks like a real fucking champion. He acts like a real, true fucking champion. Mm -hmm. And Chris Jericho, I put him on the list, too. Because mm -hmm. he's the only one. His back's strong enough to carry that company. Well, well, no, actually, actually, Moxley's the... Well, I'm champion. just saying, Jericho was champion. Yeah, yeah. You know? And he was a good champion. Moxley... Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna be honest. Yeah, I, I like Dean, but Moxley, same difference. World Heavyweight Championship pops. Uh, your favorite championship title of all? Well, I tell you what, I'm I'm going back to the old NWA, okay. and that right there was the TV title. The TV title. Love that right there, TV title. Well, you know the NWA brought that yeah, back. Yeah, to yeah, I, and I'm, I'm, I'm the same I'm, way. And I'm glad to see it because because it it was been in the closet too goddamn while, and it, it, that back in that well back back in that right there day the older days. That fucking title was a prestigious title back in that day. Well, see, uh, that's that's another thing you liked about the uh, about the the TV championship is every every show you at least have some type of title match. Yeah, yeah. With having the TV title yeah. on the line, yeah. and, and you know, and a, and a lot of as we as we well know, a lot of great men held that TV title. Back and I'll be day. honest, I miss NWA. You do miss NWA. Oh yeah. NWA power. Yeah, I miss it. Uh. Favorite championship title and why? Um, I'm gonna go with uh, I guess the Intercontinental Championship, just because I've always been a big fan of the Intercontinental Championship. Uh, who the hell has it now? I don't even know. Uh, oh, Sami Zayn. Sami Zayn, the one that uh, that don't want to show up. Yeah. So uh, yeah. Hmm. Army man. And I just think they've diminished that title a lot. Oh, the way, especially the way, the way it looks now, it looks like shit. What the Intercontinental kind of Championship now looks like trash. Wait a minute. It, 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 don't tell me that he's doing, he doing the Brock Lesnar kind of deal. No, he just don't want to show up because of this COVID. <laughs> this what? This, this pandemic. This pandemic. pandemic. This the same difference. Fuck. Fuck it. We all know what it is. The You're too monetizing. We don't get paid anyway. We don't get paid anyway. We don't get paid anyway. Suck the tailpipe, bitch. But anyway. Uh, uh, well, anyway. What's the uh, there we go. I'd go with the Intercontinental Championship back in the 90s. How about that? How about yeah. that? Yeah. I'll, yeah. I'll, I'll go with that. Because yeah, cause the Intercontinental Tower now looks like shit. The Intercontinental Championship now looks like garbage. Well, it, I would rather throw that piece of shit in the trash. Oh, fuck, I'd rather take the Intercontinental Tower in the 80s. Yeah. I'm talking about the goddamn, you know, the fucking 
won the Tito Santana Greg Valentine. The green one? Yeah, I'll well, take that. Well, there's one title that, that there's one title that that, that, that I'm pretty sure that no, that, that nobody would would want, and that right there is the Western State, Western State Heritage title. Yeah, 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 nobody wants that. Yeah, nobody wants that. <laughs> Let's go ahead and go with the the next question. Uh, favorite Mick Foley match. Favorite Mick Foley match. Now, of course, you know you go, you always got your you know the, the the ones that come to mind. You know, the King of the Ring, King, one. King of the Ring, one. Hell in a Cell, Undertaker. You got um, you got the Royal Rumble '99 match with The Rock. I quit. Yeah. Uh, but you know, and of course, it doesn't have to be just as Mick Foley it can be yeah. when he's Cactus Jack. Mick Foley, Dude Love, which he never really had a good yeah. match. His Dude Love, <laughs> and, uh, and 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 Mankind. Uh, what would be your favorite? Cactus Jack versus Triple H, Royal Rumble 2000. Really? Yeah. Why is that? Because he made Triple H a star. He made Triple H a star. No, no, because Triple H was just a mid card guy at the time. He was still, like, not. He, they were trying to push him up as a top guy. Yeah. And that's why when he was when he won the WWE Championship in 2000, he was working with Mick Foley. And they and they had a great match. Yeah, at Royal Rumble 2000. I have to go with that one. Royal Rumble 2000 Street Fight, Cactus Jack versus Triple H. Um, Bloody fucking match. Pops, do you got one, or should I go ahead and name mine first? Uh, Undertaker, Cactus Jack, throw it off the top of the cage. Hell in a cell. Hell in a cell, fine, man. You're, you're going with Mankind versus I, the Undertaker? That's what I'm going for. And, King of the Ring 98? And it was a one hell of a match. Yeah. I, I I just to say just a minute. I, I I thought when he when he when he fell from there, I, I thought he really did kill him. Mm -hmm. yeah. Go ahead now. Um, mine, and once again, we all three have different d yeah. <laughs> different matches. Yeah. Yours is versus Triple H at World Rumble 2000. Pops is not, uh, King of the Ring '98, the Hell in a Cell match with with Undertaker. Mine is actually uh, Backlash 2004 against Randy Orton. <laughs> Fantastic fucking match. One of the matches that propelled Orton to a main event spot. Yeah. In my opinion. I'm shocked that Pops didn't choose WrestleMania 22 with Edge. I was surprised about that too. Yeah, but, uh, no, it, 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 it's just just him coming off coming off that record. I could still see it today. Mm -hmm. And my God, it, it, I thought I, I'm I'm the one that I think he's I think it killed him. Well, hell, uh, uh, Mick even talked about. That, that fucking WrestleMania 22 yeah. match. That was a good match, too. Yeah. His wife called him and said, How's Edge doing? Hey, what about me? <laughs> <laughs> I went through that damn fucking flaming table, too. Uh, but, uh, um, fantastic match against Randy Orton at Backlash 2004. They, yeah. had, they had the feud going on. I, I love fucking, that feud. Where fucking Randy Orton spit right in Big Foley's face. And there's kicked, him, <laughs> kicked him down the stairs. Yep. Uh, then they had the match at, at, at WrestleMania with the handicap match Evolution versus uh, the Rocket Sock Connection, uh, and and the old Maker couldn't get it done. Nope. Uh, uh, even with the uh, with uh, the Rock's help, and uh, then a backlash. They had that great street fight. Great fucking match. Go go watch that the match hardcore guys, match. Yeah, the, for it, the it, Intercontinental Title. Great. Which uh, which propelled. Uh, Orton yeah. to to a higher standard, yeah. in, in my opinion. And then not only that, because uh, a few months later, actually, he actually beats Benoit for the, uh, or should I say, he challenges for the for the <laughs> World Heavyweight Championship yeah. at, at at SummerSlam 2004. Yeah, yeah. Because because that's the way WWE wrote it on the goddamn WWE fucking uh, 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 network. Uh, uh, network. Uh, it ain't you know most of the matches say. So and so versus so and so. No, all it says is Randy Orton challenges for the World Heavyweight Championship. Yep, <laughs> in the main event. Yeah. Um, Fuck you, Vince. Man, that's another reason I don't like you. Hey guys, last question for this edition of Five Questions. Um, who was your favorite single and tag team uh, in the original Eastern Championship Wrestling, <laughs> or should we say Extreme Championship Wrestling? Favorite single. And favorite tag team in the ECW? In the ECW. Favorite tag now, team? Now, granted, granted, it could be extreme or it could be Eastern. All right, I'm going to go but, ahead. But, but, but nobody's going to choose Eastern. Uh, my favorite uh, singles, Rob Van Dam. Rob the Van Dam. The Saving Grace in 2000. Do, 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 do. The whole effing show. The Saving Grace of ECW on TNN. Agreed. 
And my and the team, the Impact Players, Lance Storm and Justin Kreble. You're really, uh, the yep. Impact Players. Yep. Nice, nice. Uh, they beat up Sid. You remember that? <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, Pops, your favorite single wrestler in ECW? That uh, had to be Tommy Dreamer. Tommy Dreamer. Uh, the that, heart and soul yeah. of ECW, Tommy Dreamer. Uh, you know he 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 tried to do he tried to do the best he could. You know and that, that's you know he, he put it all on his back and it broke his fucking back. Let's put it that way. Okay, and who is your favorite tag team in ECW? Know too much about them. the chicken plucker and the other guy. <laughs> oh, Danny, oh, Danny Dorian. Dorian. Yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah. And, 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 that, because I mean. It, well, there's other tag teams too. Yeah, but, yeah, but those those guys to me stand out, though. I mean, I, I mean, you know, you odd combination. Yeah, yeah, they, they were so. Just, but they work well together. Yeah, yeah. they which, were just which was yeah. which was really weird. They were so goddamn weird, weird to, 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 when when they when they each come to the ring. It was so fucking weird the the way the way because they, they would come out separately. They, they wouldn't come out together. They come out separately, and 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 each one of them had their own ways of coming out, which. The chicken plucker just come out with, with, with nothing nothing on his face. He did kill. Yeah, he he was just like just just walk down through there with nothing on his face, just like he was fucking hypnotized or something. Well actually we ended up getting Roadkill and OVW yeah. For, yeah. For, for a little while as well. That's actually where where we actually met Roadkill. I yeah. actually got an autograph of yeah. Roadkill. Uh but um Um Definitely for tag team, the Dudley Boys, obviously. Yeah. Uh big fan of the Dudley Boys always have. Uh, always have been. Uh, and when it comes to the singles, uh, damn. Um, I, th I, I, I thought I thought Pops was going to say Jerry Lynn. Close second. Close second. Very, very close second Jerry Lynn is. Um, and for my second would have been Mike Awesome. Mike Awesome? Mike yeah. Second, yeah. Um, damn. Uh, shit, man. They, 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 they had a lot of good, a lot of good uh, uh, singles wrestlers. Uh, Raven comes to mind a lot. Uh, Tommy Dreamer, Jerry Lynn, Taz, uh, Taz, not so much. I wasn't a big Taz fan. Sabu, Sabu, um, Rob Taz, Van Dam, yeah. of course. Sabu, you had the scars to prove it too. <laughs> uh, one that a lot of super crazy. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Tajiri. Yep. Uh, you, it, you know, it. It's hard, you know. If you ask me. To, to pick, I, I loved ECW. Yeah, yeah. I really to, did. To pick those guys, pick <clears throat> one particular guy that you absolutely liked. I couldn't do it because I liked them all. And the one guy that is just insane, Sandman. Yeah. yeah. For the one guy who dressed like a bum and had I, no wrestling fucking Steve yeah. Carino, Steve Carino, yeah. the king of yeah. old school. Had, had had no fucking had, had no had no athletic yeah. fucking prowess yeah. whatsoever. Yeah. <laughs> Sam Kid Cash, <laughs> the great Kid Cash. Yeah. Uh, we we watched a lot of ECW back in the day. Yeah. yeah. Uh, ordered a lot of pay per views. Watched the Thrill Zone on fucking. Uh, the only uh, good thing on fucking TNA. Yeah. Yes. Uh, so 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 we watched a lot of a lot of a lot of ECW. So. Uh, uh, loved ECW, but there you guys go. There you go. That's that's it for this edition or the quarantine edition. Yeah. Uh, five questions with WR. <laughs> Hope that you guys enjoyed it. If you guys did, make sure you guys give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to share all of our social media. Like us on Facebook, Facebook.com slash Russell Rampage two. Show them that too. Follow us on Twitter at Russell Rampage. Also, don't forget to follow me and Tommy on Instagram as well. And guys, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button for more great videos coming to you guys. Because we got plenty more coming to you guys. Plus, trust us on that. Um because we are the cream that rises to the top. Cream of the crop. And nobody does it better, baby. Thanks.